if you've seen all the hype of selling items on Etsy with the print on demand shop and you thought it was going to be easy, free and hands off and require no real work of your own and make thousands of dollars. But then when you opened your store to sell stuff, you got crickets. That's because you did something wrong and I'm going to show you what. You want to make an easy sale type business without producing actually any products. You just want to post it and people buy it. Well, you can do something called Etsy print on demand. Basically, you have to sign up, get you an Etsy account. It's free. And then also sign up for an account like Printful or Teesprings and then connect those two. Once those two are connected, from there, you make your products. Now, before you make your products, you need to do one thing is find a specific niche or niches that you can focus, hyper focus on. Don't just be like, oh, I'm gonna do, you know, t-shirts and mugs for teachers. That's not specific enough. There are thousands of people who do t-shirts for teachers, mugs for teachers. No, you wanna go hyper focus. Math teachers, science teachers, English teachers, be hyper specific. Stickers and hats for doctors. Well, hyper focus. Brain doctors, heart doctors, teeth doctors, well, dentists. But that's what I'm saying. Hyper focus on a specific person or a specific group. Don't be so broad. Whatever the item you do, you want it to speak to that specific person. Also, don't do too many products. So don't have t-shirts, hats, scarves, bags, stickers in your shop. If you're gonna do something, be hyper focused on a specific item or no more than like two. So t-shirts and mugs or t-shirts and hats, stickers and button or whatever those pins are, whatever. Don't do too many things. You want to be able to like, oh, I go to this shop specifically for this thing. So let's go through the steps. Step one, you wanna get something called Samurai Extension. Samurai Extensions helps with showing you specific search volumes for, for specific topics. So then you can go to like Etsy and like type out, like I said, math teacher, and it'll give you an actual breakdown of how many like products are specifically shown for math teacher. You want a good rule of thumb is to filter it down get specific enough where you have between a thousand no more than two thousand search results that way you know okay i don't have as much competition step two when you create this store you want to have between 30 to 50 products i mean go ham don't put up like four little items and think oh yeah okay i'm waiting for a sale to come in no you want to i don't want to say saturate but you want to saturate so you want to go in like 50 50 designs 50 items that people can go and be like oh yeah that's that speaks to me. Step three is kind of something you're gonna have to work on yourself. It's better to have at least like four to five sales and four to five reviews on your shop before you really start seeing people come in. Because in the end, like if you own a, a store and then it shows that nobody's bought anything, it shows that nobody reviewed anything, you're gonna be like, well, what's wrong with this place? I don't know if I wanna buy anything from here. That's because you don't know if it's gonna be good. You don't know who they are, if you can trust them, if you can trust the seller. Even if you ask family or friends, hey, can somebody buy a shirt or a mug and leave me a good review? You want to look like you are a actual functioning store. Now, mind you, again, this is print on demand, meaning you never actually have to lay hands on the product, ship any out thing out to anybody at any point. All your concern is creating the design. That's it, creating the design and posting it, that's it. So I'm just reiterate, if you want to see more traction, you got to, you know, fluff up the store, make it look like, you know, actual customer shop there. Step four is quality photos. You can't just put blurry. I mean, if you use like say Teespring, then you can go in and put a mock-up design and actually copy and paste that to your Etsy shop. But other than that, if you're putting up blurry pictures or funny looking photos, it's not gonna work. It's not gonna happen. People will see through it. People ain't gonna wanna buy it because they think you're shady and they don't know what kind of quality you actually have. So make sure you have decent quality photos of these products, where it's the mug, the shirt, whatever you wanna sell, make sure you have quality photos of it. Number five, make sure you're title of whatever the product you're selling is not too long. People don't wanna read all that. People are not trying to look for context clues and it's not gonna help you in your search results. Number six, you wanna make sure your tags are good. Do not use multiples of the same tag. So say, don't put like teacher and then next teacher's day. It's, it's wasteless to keep putting teacher, teacher, teacher. And don't put multiples either like teacher day, teacher's day. Don't do stuff like that. Just teacher, school, kids, learning, something like that. Don't keep putting multiples of the same 
word and then in the description box this is number what seven eight i don't know i don't care that's where if you want to put details put a little bit more details put as many keywords as you can in your description box that will help you a lot better than oversaturating your title box or messing up your tag search area and then from that point on step i don't know eight seven nine whatever uh this is where you want to take your etsy information and then post it in places like pinterest and facebook you want to spread awareness especially on pinterest people are always looking on there for inspirational things things that relate to them things that vibe with them so in pinterest is a good place to post it and then from that point on that's when you you know i told you enough that's it bye i'm out